It's said that Singapore is a fine city, as in the government will fine you for doing just about anything. Littering, $1,000 fine. Carrying a durian fruit on a city bus, $1,000 fine. So it's no wonder that the typical government advertising campaigns tell people what to do and when to do it, often badly. So when the Singapore Land Transport Authority approached us to educate the public about its new underground expressway, we considered it a challenge. A government campaign about a tunnel? What could we possibly do? Well, somehow we managed to start a pirate radio station, record an album, get over a million hits on our website and cover half of Singapore with graffiti. But let's start at the beginning. In a country famous for caning a teenage American vandal, we used LTA construction sites as a canvas for graffiti, announcing underground radio is coming. It prompted one local blog to ask, graffiti on the hoardings? Who dares on LTA's construction site? Next, we recruited local artists to record Sounds of the Underground, an album of songs which incorporated the KPE safety messages, although you might not guess upon first listen. Hey, look at the signs, don't you ever cross the line. With the album pressed, we were ready to go. KPE Underground Radio. Every morning for a week, every radio station in Singapore was hijacked by Underground Radio, a virtual pirate radio station. It's the KPE Underground Radio Show, and yes, it is a new experience, the dawning of a new driving experience. Any driver tuning into their regular radio program was instead greeted by our new KPE-inspired content. DJs talked about the KPE Underground Expressway while spinning tracks off the album. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you keep hearing it and you'll constantly start wanting to sing along with it as well. You don't believe me? Check out Vanessa Fernandez. You don't need to speed. Listeners were encouraged to call in with questions and DJs gave away prizes to reward their curiosity. Free Sounds of the Underground CDs were also sent to drivers to listen to in their cars and the songs were promoted with a music fly poster campaign. MP3s from Sounds of the Underground could also be downloaded off a technically advanced website designed to educate the public on the engineering marvel that is the KPE. The results? In a country of only 4.5 million people, the KPE website generated over 1 million hits in under 3 months and received recognition from prestigious web design sites including the Pixel Awards. Nearly 25,000 Sounds of the Underground MP3s were downloaded. We achieved 44% cut through in our target market, equivalent to over 861,000 listeners who were exposed to over 22 hours of branded content. And we pulled it off for the price of a traditional TV campaign. In a country known for this, we did this.